Okay guys, thanks for joining me. Today's our second video of the frame build for the 1913 Duesenberg Indianapolis 500 race car. This is a car that raced in 1914, took 10th place with Eddie Rickenbacker at the wheel. Helping my dad put the frame together on this one. Uh, as I explained in the last video, he's got a couple fingers that aren't working real well right now, so I'm helping him get some of his fabrication done and I'll turn the build over to him for kind of the paint and all that sort of finishing stuff. But today, uh, the, rather in the last video, we did the um, Z on the frame, which is not required. It's just something that this car has, or this um, uh, original car has Zs kind of in the frame. So we simulated that with the Z that I did in the last video. This video we're doing the front um, spring mount. It's a little bit of a different arrangement than I've done before. So a little bit of a learning curve. I spent the morning, uh, a little bit yesterday afternoon, figuring this out. Originally I was going to use a piece of tubing uh, and then cut it out and have the spring fit in there, but that kind of took up a lot of too much space. So I ended up using the 16 gauge steel that the frame is. Uh, I bought some sheet material and I cut it down to an inch and a quarter wide, which is how wide the spring shackles are. And we're using some grade 8 washers on the end. We're just welding them on. Um, and that's creating a shackle mount uh, that looks like the original car. And I'll put a picture of that up uh, somewhere in here. But that's the idea, to try to make this look like the original car as much as we can in some of those small details. Um, not recreating it, just kind of emulating it. So that's kind of the point of second cars, just kind of make something that looks a little bit like the real deal. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so this is what I built out of the um, sheet of 16-gauge uh, strap, which is essentially this material. Um, I cut it to inch and a quarter wide, cleaned it up, and then I bent that material over this inch and a quarter tube which happens to work out pretty well. So I just kind of clamped it and bent it around. It bends pretty simply. And then we took the grade eight washers and welded them, oops, excuse me, welded them onto there. Uh, I cleaned off the, the kind of gold coating that's on there to begin with. Uh, whoop, this thing's still a little bit hot from welding, but um, that's working really well. And I got the other one already made sitting on the cart. This is kind of how it's going to work. Uh, this is going to be welded onto here. And then we're going to take this flat strapping and it's going to get welded onto here, the front, and then pulled around onto the top of the frame, flushing out here. So this will all be kind of mounted together. This will be welded here. And then down here I'm gonna put some little filler pieces. Maybe just weld it, I'm not sure. I might just fill that with weld because it's not gonna be a whole lot of space. Um, that'll probably work. And then this bottom is gonna get a one inch piece also around the whole bottom here. Um, so that's working out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the welds up on this. Kind of grind them down a little bit so they're a little smoother. I didn't take it all off. I just cleaned it so it's sort of flush or flat because it's going to get welded around here anyway. So um, here we go. Okay, so success. We got the um, shackle mounts welded on. You see, I kind of welded around it, and that worked out pretty good. Um, they fit pretty well. So there's the spring kind of sitting in the shackle, and uh, kind of what it looks like. Maybe a mount over here as well. And then I went ahead and started welding up the filler pieces. So that's just tacked in place right now. That worked pretty good. And again, this just sits in here like that. So we'll go ahead and get the filler pieces put on this frame rail. We'll finish weld them. And I'm gonna show you the side of this. Sorry, Sorry that's so loud. I've got a bit of a... Uh, I'm going to cut some pieces and fill in these little spaces here. This might get a weld on this side. I'm going to have to put a piece of metal just to fill that in so it looks nice and neat. So that is, let's see, I'll show you the kind of profile of these. So that's essentially the profile that we were literally looking for when we made these templates. So actually, I haven't laid the template on here yet. I wonder how that lays out. Oh, man, damn near perfect. Unbelievable. Love when a plan comes together. So... That's coming along pretty good. I'm going to take you all the way down the Z's. The front Z, the rear Z's, and the axle mount. So, uh, looking pretty good. Okay, so working on the second uh, frame rail. And I kind of wanted to go over with you how I made this piece. So this is just a one, in, one inch wide piece of the 16 gauge, which is the same in thickness as the frame rail, which is... Uh, 0 0.063, 0 0.065, something like that. Um, the trick to this is to, you know, kind of pre-bend it so it fits. So what I do is I've got a, when I go to the metal shop, I always look for the scrap. So I found this big piece of aluminum tubing and it's really easy to kind of bend things over it. You kind of see that's almost the same radius as that. Oops, it's almost the same radius. So you just work it until you get the shape right. Uh, there's a little bit of a kink right here. 
in the frame rail, and I've got the same right here. I just put that in the vise and gave it a small little pinch. So when you put it in here and weld it, um, you know, I'm going to clamp it, of course, but there's not a whole lot of tension. Uh, that fits pretty good. Once you pull this down and clamp it, it, it pulls it down and snug and uh, fits perfect. So we're ready to go ahead and tack weld the last piece on and uh, get these things wrapped up. Okay, they're all tacked up and they look awesome. Super happy with the way that turned out. So we're going to go ahead and finish weld them now and uh, sand them down or grind it, you know, use a flapper disc to smooth them all out. I've already ran a bead on this top corner here. So I'll get all smoothed down and uh, make it look like it's all all one piece. And I got to decide how I'm going to fill these little voids. I might use cut a little piece. I'm not sure yet. Uh, after I've tacked the side or, or finished welded, we'll figure that out. Okay, so we got it all finished welded. I was able to fill in this just by welding around these uh, to fill these voids in. They filled in pretty good and uh, welded all along the edges. Just took my time, a little bit, a couple inches at a time. Just kind of moved all around, flipped them over and did the other side. Uh, turned out pretty well. You see the other side is all done as well. Um, so now I'm going to start grinding on it. Uh, grind these welds down flush and flat, make them look nice. I've got a couple different flapper discs for that. I've got a number 40 flapper, number 60, and a number 120 for the finishing. So I'm going to try the 40 uh, to take down the biggest parts of it. And we'll go down to the 60 to kind of take a little further and then the 120 to finish it off. So that's what's up next. Okay, so that took about an hour of grinding. I went over with the 40 grit and then the 120 grit got it pretty smooth. Um, that'll paint up pretty good. A little bit of body filler is going to be needed. A couple little spots have little voids. I could go back and weld those in, but they're not absolutely critical. They're just there for aesthetics, so a little body filler will take care of it. Um, pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, when going over this, you got to be careful of this edge. You want to make it look like this edge. It's got a little bit of a roundness to it. Um, so I went over it a couple times. I think that's pretty good. I might do a little bit more to get it smoothed out a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, but that seems to work out pretty good. And so the spring fits in pretty nicely. Last second. It's easier to put in with two hands. Anyway, there's a spring sitting in it now. Uh, shackle will be back here, and um, turned out pretty good. That's going to work out just fine. So they're pretty symmetrical. They look real nice. Turned out pretty smooth. Pretty happy with that. I think we'll call that the end of this video of uh, doing the front shackles and kind of finishing off the frame rails. Uh, the next video we'll do the uh, frame assembly. So uh, if you like the videos, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and uh, check us out on the Arizona Cycle Car Club on Facebook. Have a great day. Bye-bye.